Okay. Chapter 11, section problem 14 asks, what is the ion dipole force and why is it important? So our textbook gives us a definition of the ion dipole force occurs uh, when an ionic compound is mixed with a polar compound and it's especially important um, for why um, ionic species are so soluble in aqueous solutions and or polar uh, solutions. So the example that we're given is sodium and chloride. So NaCl is salt. And when it goes into water, what will happen is the sodium ions will line up with all the oxygen <laughs> parts of water, right? Because these are all delta minus. Whereas the uh, H's are delta plus. So this will form kind of a, a solvent network to really provide a strong, strong solubilization for the sodium ion. And this might be able to form six waters per every sodium, something. Whereas the chloride, this will again form with, um, along with water, but here it's gonna line up with the, with the, with the H side, the proton side, because it's delta positive. And, you know, it probably won't form um, two H's per chloride. You know, we'll probably have one, one H from a single water per chloride, but two. Anyway, it's this type of interaction that really makes ions so soluble and form such strong interactions. And, and in fact, it's ion dipole forces, um, which is the strongest intermolecular force of attraction. Um, and is, is really, really quite a, a powerful force in, in directing the interactions and um, nature of solvents and ion, ionic um, solutions. Anyway, I hope this helps a little bit. Um,